soft dictatorships and the misrule of law. It has been over a week since the eruption of the so-called state of emergency in Pakistan, and already, despite occasional rhetorical terms of excitement, there has been a tacit acceptance by the U.S. government of what should have been unacceptable. In Pakistan, the unelected military leader, General Parvez Musharraf, has already gotten the nod to continue the repression of the nation's judiciary, lawyers, and civil society activists for the next three months, or until February 2008. Despite initial rumblings of State Department protests, now even the threat of withholding military funding for the Pakistani dictatorship is, to borrow a phrase from U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, off the table. So despite any words, indeed, the U.S. has thrown Pakistan a lifeline, a timeline of acceptability for a campaign of repression against any prominent figures who have spoken out against the nation's military rule. How can it now realistically openly oppose a dictator who has been doing openly what the Bush regime has been doing by subterfuge? The U.S. used lies and pretexts to invade, destabilize, and virtually destroy a country that had nothing to do with 9-11 and has followed that grand spectacle with secret prisons, so-called black sites overseas, mass wiretaps of mega millions of American communications, violation of the FISA Act, torture, the shredding of the Constitution. How can the U.S. honestly criticize Pakistan for shredding its Constitution when the U.S. Constitution lies in tatters? The day may come when we begin to envy the Pakistanis for fighting for their rights. That day has not yet dawned. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are produced by Noel Hanrahan for Prison Radio.